Ding, mom and dad. Hey, Chris. Wait a second. Um, I... Look, I know you want to give a real goodbye to everyone, right? I mean, I'm all for leaving right away, but... You know, we could go back a sec, if you wanted. Okay. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's head back. Susie shows her face now. Chris? Susie? You came back? Um, well... Chris just wanted to say bye, you know. Oh! Actually... Everyone here wanted to say goodbye too. Please let me know when you leave, alright? Yeah, yeah. We'll try not to skip you. Way to go, kids! Now we can go back to making the puzzles we love! And thanks to your donation, I could buy a new hat and some shaving cream! Best, you're the best! Honestly, we owe you. You're absolutely amazing. Great work. <laughs> so I don't get it. Why does it spell boob? <laughs> I don't know. Even a little ball can say something like thank you. No, it can't. <laughs> thank you. I can go back to being a coat hanger now. Bye bye. I asked. Shom to come here, but there wasn't any interest. Darn, horsey. You've done us a big hell. Now all in us pieces can live in pieces. You did it. You ousted that rotten tyrant. I'll be happy to accept a bounty of credit for my contributions. Unless the king reappears, in which case I did nothing. Wonderful worker, mine amigos. <laughs> Thou hast toppled it, the tyrant. Freed to the cree, freed to creedst. Truly, history shall not forget the tale of Rules Card and the Three Heroes. It's a pretty good tale. <laughs> I know you could do it. Though I was your enemy, I was cheering for you. That's how much I disliked my job. <laughs> <laughs> the future looks so sweet. Like a pile of bees puke. Which is honey, I think. A kingdom with so much hope. Hope you didn't screw it up. That means thank you. Come to our next bee day too. We'll have one soon. If that's possible. Happy looked at you proudly. Kiss. Ew. What's going on? I slept through everything. <laughs> what ho? What about us? Aren't we going to be restored as kings? Ah, uh, my treasure is unharmed. Oh, carry on then. Us animals decided it's okay if the kings stay in the cages as well. They'll have to put on animal ears and noses. Mamma mia, what a celebration! Everybody is here! <laughs> this must be at the birthday party I was made of that cake for! A clove is a birth, such a sweet occasion, I'm at the cry! Uh, actually, this whole thing is like our fault. Oh, mon amiga, then you're Clover's mother. <laughs> no, I understand why you ate the cake to protect her. Huh? Wait, no, why? Wait, if I go along with this, can I get more cake? I'll be honest. At Wait, someone else do him. I'll be honest. At first, we weren't sure who to make our new king. I mean, Lancer has always been a bit of a pain. He's right there, dude. But after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I think he'll be, f he'll be fine. Foo the blue person whose name I neglected <laughs> to learn all along. I thought you were going home wave. We were, but Chris wanted to say bye, you know? 
Oh, really? Oh, that's funny. I thought you wanted to say bye because we're friends. Huh? I mean, I did not not want to. Um, so you're the king now, huh? Yes, and I'm changing some big rules. First, Pardon. lighteners are now legal. Second, prison is now only for dads. <laughs> Sounds like some pretty good changes. Hey, your dad was, uh, protecting the fountain, right? Is it gonna be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea! <laughs> but it's you guys, so I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. We'll fix it out. Yeah, guess we'll just see, I guess. Um, well, see you later. Come back soon! There's always room in town for a couple of clowns. Is there anything? Oh, right, this guy like blocks our path. Because you rescued it, it grew to respect you. Well, actually, maybe it shrunk to respect you. Lol. <laughs> Does uh, rules say anything else if you talk to him again? Rules, rules card. Sometimes they have two dialogue, but I guess not. What's up, bitch? Chris? Susie? Are you leaving? Hell if I know. I'm just following Chris. Guess we'll just walk to the right if we are. Susie, Chris, are you going to leave? Um, I... I just wanted to say I... I... really enjoyed meeting you two, and... Hey, can you stop mumbling into your hat for a sec? can barely hear you, dude. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Blah? Why, why is he the goat? Um, Chris, Susie, I... Also, Chris has zero reaction to this. I yeah. hope I can see you again soon. Next time, I'll make you lots of yummy cakes, all right? Okay, Mom. Blah? Um, yeah, sure, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> let's go, Chris. Yeah, let's definitely go about it. Dude, is that your brother? Uh, no. Are you I, sure? I think that's my mom. <laughs> Pretty sure. Did your mom have glasses? Yeah. Is this... The fountain? Don't know how, but it feels like we stumbled into something really important, didn't we? Eh? Well, there's no time to think about it that, that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. What happened? I can't see anything. Hey, watch it. Huh. Uh, huh? Huh. The unused classroom. How do we get here? Huh. Hey, Chris. What? 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 What just happened? Uh -huh. Like that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Wow. Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell Alfie so we couldn't find any chalk. 
It's a yellowed, poorly drawn, drawn picture of a green turtle. It's signed Alvin. So I don't know if you noticed, Chris, but like the all the stuff on the ground, yeah, is where we were. Like the cards and the checkboard, checkerboard, and mm -hmm. yeah, the yeah. fields, the yeah. blue, purple fields. Oh yeah. What does it mean? Susie, what does it mean? Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Alpheus will know better than to ask us next time, huh? Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Bye! What? Chris? What? Let's go back there tomorrow, alright? No. <laughs> that was weird and I hated it. Falcor. Hello? C Chris? How did you get out of the dark zone? Whatever have you been doing? How did you get out of the dark zone? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You don't have any friends. You are spending time with a friend? Chris, I will make an exception this time. You can continue your adventures a little longer. But when you return home, you're going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. How did you get out of the dark zone, Mom? <laughs> we made it home. We did it. Library. Library. Oh, it's the smug penguin. Chris, you survived Susie. I was getting worried. That's rude, dude. It's mean. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to Draw Dragons is 2,583 days overdue. <laughs> However, Chris, I was always complaining. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere $64.28. Consider it, Chris. <laughs> Stop. Chris, what's up? Don't. Don't. Gaddy's working, so I'm starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a, co a soccer ball 73 times. I gotta go to the college. So them stubby. Hard! She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. <laughs> I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. You look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Never trust a dog. Please remember my name. Please. I wrote a book to help you remember. By Hot's Fire Guy. <laughs> He's Flamesman. Lord of the Hammer. First new award-winning fiction series by Lord and Historian Guess and Boom. Check the dog room again when you get a chance. You look through the window to the computer lab. Now yeah, the dog is just playing the maracas. It's not doing any work. This might take a while. You look the page. It's delicious. Mm. This must be what they meant by flavor text. It's an unlabeled book. You look inside. Oh, I accidentally returned my per- Oh, I accidentally returned my personal journal instead of my book. Oh no, they're putting it into their catalog. Oh no, I have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry. <laughs> <laughs> Poor naps to Bluke. Uh, there was also something if you wanted to look at the little cork board. Also, the guy told you to go upstairs. Uh, you can't. You can't. Go upstairs. You can't. Oh. It probably will let you win the- 
actual game. There's a crude drawing of an ice cube wearing a headband. The teen zone where teens can be kids! A feeling of immense relief washes over you. Uh, look to the right of it, too. Does an anime review read it? No, 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 no. You decided not to read it. <laughs> so this one is Alfie's, if you want to. Oh! Teen's Corner, monthly tune reviews. Mew Mew Kissy Cootie 2. This reviewer had Mew Mew 2 as her first exposure to the series. And let her tell you, it makes Mew Mew 1 look like a dumpster. Dumpster with sparkly cat ears. With the darker storyline and more mature themes, the second one treats the viewer like a real adult, instead of like an animal that will die if it goes 10 seconds without seeing a beach ball. Not to mention, Mew Mew's character in the first one is more stale than the ramen I eat at my home by myself with the lights off. Teens and older should check out this dark masterpiece. Signed, the anonymous yellow li lizard. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. Lizard. Undyne. Hey, punk. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da. Get out of the road. You're blocking traffic. Oh, wait. It's just Asgore's kid. Sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring. Nothing ever happens in this town. Ugh. I just wish something would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? <gasps> what? There's a dark world inside the school. Uh, sure, kid. What happened? How did you get your eyes back? <laughs> <laughs> There's no law against dark worlds anyway. That's a job for the school board. Aw, you want to help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob a bank so I can suplex them. Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank! <laughs> Alphys? Who's Alphys? No idea what you're talking about. Why? Do they do something illegal? Gotcha! If I see Al- uh, Gotcha! If I see Alphys, I'll tackle him! Foo! <laughs> They're as good as dead! R.I.P. Alphys. Pepperoni Alphys. She'll probably enjoy it. Please? Please. You do it. Police Chief Undyne is supposed to be directing traffic, but all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, Get out of my way! <laughs> she's the best, huh? I feel really directed. How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck! I guess I should just run away? Nah. Put it in reverse and peel out. Oh my god, there's a church? Yeah, for Jesus. Oh, there's a lady turtle. Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here, and on a school day. There must be a reason that you came here at such a time. I, Father Alvin, implore you, if you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. Fruit juice. Chris, if you want some of your sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. Our choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it would be wonderful if you would sing with us. Or even participated to any extent, instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. Nah. That nah. sounds lame as hell, dude. Wait, go back. What's that shit down? Oh, that's just a glitch. Oh. <laughs> My life. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people were like, what is this? It's a secret. <laughs> Gerson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Mutler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Shira, a karaoke microphone for the brave singer. I'd be surprised if there wasn't an actual 80s singer named Shira. <laughs> such a... Garrison Boom Memorial Bench. Uh, such a thing. Throughout my career, some of my best ideas came from dreams. Take a rest here if anyone asks. You're writing. <laughs> now go down now go fall down a hole. Alright. Okay. I'm going. Here I go. 
Yeah, down the hole. It's locked. Set the door from Danganronpa. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That'll take you straight to Danganronpa. To the Ultimate Academy. <laughs> hey, short stuff. Would you possibly need... Why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low? Ain't <laughs> too much candies? Lost your frisbee in the wash? <laughs> Short stuff. <laughs> That's what the cops are for. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The mayor is busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. <laughs> the mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative. But she works hard and has a good track record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics, rarely. Can't go see the mayor. Oh, who's the mayor? Uh, I think it's implied that it's Noelle's mom. Who's Noelle's mom? I'm just waiting for a kid to appear with like a trail of fire behind him. And a baseball bat. <laughs> he he reads, Nyaaah! Oh, shit. <laughs> Someone's coming up to the window. Uh-oh. They just closed the blinds. Seems like the police aren't feel really feeling it right now. That's not how it works. <laughs> it snaps to blue. Oh, lord. Excuse me. Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. Oh, don't make me do that voice again. Oh, got a tickle in my throat. Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano? <laughs> the patient can't hear. Whew. <laughs> Dad, I can't just say that to her. Oh my God, I'd die. I'd literally die. Noel, sweetheart. First time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up and told her she was a hot piece of work. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. She slapped me so hard I blacked out. That seems like bad advice then. <laughs> that, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers 3? Beat it yet? Dragon Blazers! Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of... Kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Noel, maybe, maybe you shouldn't wait. Jesus Christ, <laughs> Dad! <laughs> you should bring it here. I'm bored as hell. Okay, good. Oh my God, <laughs> Dad, what the fuck is wrong with that? It was so fucked up. Fine, you win. I'll bring it here next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I'd better go. I've got homework. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the group project voice. Bird guy again. What's his name? Nerdly? It it's uh Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Oh, hi, Chris. Oh, hi, Chris. She said something. She said something to me. <laughs> My secret crush. It's a bunch of roses in a glass container. Hey, I'm happy you brought your, um, I'm happy your dad brought me flowers, but roses? What is this, man? Beauty and the Beast? That ain't gonna work, man. We're both beasts. My dad's beautiful. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Chara takes over and pulls out the life support cord. Well, jingle my gosh darn bells. No, that's all. Oh, it's gone. Looks like Christmas came early. Oh, there it is. Blech. All right, Chris. Just give me the straight sh shot. Why are you here? Did your mom make you come here? No. Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. <laughs> I've just been wandering around town aimlessly. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't too long ago you were just the creepy kid next door. That hasn't changed, old man. Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, seriously. You wanna chat or something? 
Chris, even if we've grown apart, we still love your family. After all, me and Asgord were po college pals, right? Oh hey, now that Asriel's off to college. You think he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? He's in the dark world. Heh, <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand, woo! She'd always fuss about going, but once the party started, yikes, man. Once she hit, once she hit me clear across the room with a key lime pie. What the fuck? I got smashed into a snack table and toppled everything. <sighs> Tasty pie though, couldn't complain. I don't want to hear these stories about my parents. Hey Chris, you want to chat? Don't worry, there's no way you can bore me right now. Illness. So why am I in here? Well, they found some crap, so it's just some tests. Yeah, it's no big deal. Nothing a holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff. Then I can go back to... I don't know. He's gonna die. Yelling it's, at you for getting tangled in our light display. It's... it's... I'm sorry, sir. It's terminal. <laughs> She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet. Couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so... defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. What? She's fight, She's playing Dragon Fuckers 3, dude. <laughs> she's totally got... she's totally got cajones. And when it happens, she freezes like a deer in the headlights. That's racist, dude. Remember she used to even be afraid of humans under the bed? Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. Anyhow. That's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me. Just that, in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? What am I gonna do, dude? Rudolph Rudy Holiday. Hey, Chris, you forget my name or something? I did. Was there one more thing to ask him? No. Oh. Right. Was there a never mind? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, what the hell are you here for, Chris? To gawk? You thought this was a zoo or something? Come on! It's a sink. Hey Chris, is that sink really more interesting than me? Yep, bye. <laughs> this is empty. Oh, uh, he he hello. Is he saying something? Yeah. I think so. Oh. This castle's white wizards relegated me to this healing chamber, but my blood is boiling for battle! Are you from the Dark World? Okay, bye. There are two sinks. <laughs> Smash. Go fall in a hole. I'll go fall in your hole. Oh my. <laughs> oh my god. What? There's so much extra content. Yeah, there's yep. a lot of extra content, dog. This game ain't over. Oh god, someone's actually here. Uh. I sees pit eats uh, your number one spot for piping hot pit eats uh, pit pets. Uh. Uh, hey, wait a second! I recognize you, <laughs> little buddy. It's me. Want to chat for a minute before I lose my mind? This is one of the best characters in Undertale. Make no mistake, little buddy. I sees pit eats uh, is hell. I can't slag off for seconds without hearing Be a team player, there's no I in Petsa Yes there is, you just took it out <laughs> But it's okay little buddy, I've been saving up To go to college where Azzy is Then I'll get a theater degree, become a famous actor And let the fangirls roll in little buddy Hey little buddy, what's up? Ah uh, yes little buddy, good idea, meet the rogues gallery Blue ears, soft serve of thefts, no concept of personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushies on me and giggling. 
is canon. <laughs> Thank God. The warrior, thankfully <laughs> absent due to pizza-related injuries, constantly terrorizing customers with war chants. Purple guy, man, that guy, you gotta... Actually, does that guy even work here? Ha, <laughs> my co-workers, where would I be without him? A happy place, little buddy. A much happier place. Poor burger pants. <laughs> Do you know when Azzy's coming home? You, you can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. Aw. It'd be sweet to cruise around like old times. Picking up, for example, chicks. <laughs> Which, as a matter of course, may not have ever actually happened. <laughs> But one time, Undyne made guy contact with me. Well, she was writing me a speeding ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Would you be interested in trying some of our many 24 pizza flavors? We've got normal, cheese, ice, gravy, double ice, pepperonis, no, pepperonis, thank you, and more. Stop on down at ICE's Pet Pizza. The entrance is locked. No one is inside. <laughs> All the employees are outside in costume. Ice me up! Ice me up, boss! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You're alive. Nice. <laughs> I'm working. Oh, we'll take the special, and do you have edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, haven't seen you in a while, hon. I remember back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come over for order the special. Of course, things happen, and then y'all stop coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brother would still come in. He'd order you a hot chocolate. And you two would sit down at that table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. You must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? You got a hot chocolate. On the house, hun. Oh. Drink it. Really? No! <laughs> <laughs> you drank the hot chocolate. It tasted wonderful. Your throat tightened. Aww. Ice Wolf does not like ice and drink. Ice Wolf <laughs> likes ice. To be drink. <laughs> so? So, for you two girls, that'll be the crepes, the cinnamon latte. Two bunny parfaits and a piece of firewood. I like the vibe of the waitress here. Maybe I should sign up too? Nah, serving drinks wouldn't really suit a fire elemental. Nah. <laughs> Fuck you, Undertale, piece of fucking <laughs> shit. If I get nervous, I'll just melt all the ice. Fucking Undertale, piece of shit fucking game. Did you talk to Trash. the thing with the hat? No. What has a hat? Right on the stool, oh. right there. Looking at my rugged body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is, I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Sans! What the fuck? Bye, Sans. Wait a minute, go back. <laughs> that implies... What does it imply, Yeah, Chris? what does it imply, Chris? Well, what's the implication? I'm just looking at the title there, and it, the apostrophe bore the S implies that this restaurant used to be called something. That was Groby's, wasn't it? Yeah, it's the same as Groby's in the old. That game. was a which was a bar in Undertale where the bartender was a fire elemental. Oh, that's that joke. Right, right. And, also and it was Sans ate there all the time. Yeah, it was Sans's favorite place. Oh, okay. Hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? Hmm, you know, good question. I'm Sans, your friendly neighborhood skeleton. What's up? Behind me, yeah, that's the grocery store. But unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain, I really wanted to buy some milk. 
someone ought to complain to the guy who runs it. We just moved here. Hardly know anyone. Why, God, why, got anyone I should know better? Me! Whoa there, tiger. You couldn't just jump straight into friendship. It takes time. Alright, that's enough time. <laughs> Take this. Call it whatever you feel like. He got Sansa's number. Nice. Elfies, yeah, I know about her. Uh, came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. Thought she was part of the mob. Uh, she opened a case and stuffed it full of instant noodles. Uh, paid in small bills, uh, then slunk out of the place. Pajamas trailing on the floor. Anyway, our relationship is uh, purely business. So, uh, I guess I'll just let her do her thing. Oops, whoopsie doopsie, oh golly. Your favorite. Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. Oh shit. She's great. Come to the store to buy chocolate kisses. My chocolate kisses. Said she's got to lock her door to stop you from eating them. <laughs> you sound like a fun kid, huh? Did you fuck my mom? Did you fuck my mom? Hey bud, are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. Okay. Wow, you were deliberating for a while. Gee, what's wrong? Don't want to hang out with a stranger? Well, I guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are you going to be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just gonna be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. The virus. <laughs> no response, but the distant trussle of bones. The virus, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you the human that lives at the top of town? Wow. My mommy told me about you. <laughs> <laughs> Does it hurt to be made of blood? <laughs> yes, very much so. <laughs> huh, that sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten more levels. Yo, Chris, you survived Susie. <laughs> I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but uh, I'd be careful. Like, one time, me, Snowy, and jo Jockington were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when the ball rolled over to her, she just, uh, froze solid, and kicked the ball as hard as she could right into Officer Undyne's car! Then Undyne came out, smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us all at handball! Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. <laughs> Whew! You lucky, Chris! You got to miss class with Alphys. That's not fair. <laughs> if I skipped class, my dad would never let me hear the end of it. <laughs> That's actually not even remotely funny. Oi, Snowy! What did I tell you about knocking on the door so hard? Don't do it! It's really gonna hurt your face. We don't have arms, you know. <laughs> hey. Uh, hey. <laughs> hey, bud. Uh, oh, uh, Chris. Chris, you're okay. I I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where did you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know. You're not in trouble. I'm a cool mom. Well, uh, let me know if you need anything. Where's your home? <laughs> oh, oh, Chris, did, did you want to talk about something? Oh, oh, these flowers? They're from your dad. He, he always asks how you're doing in school, then gives me a bouquet of them. Uh, actually, that he always gives me flowers really makes me wonder if he, if he likes... 
if if he likes the awesome comics I lend to him. <laughs> Honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge and could kick my ass. <laughs> it's a saucer of milk. Are you are you LARPing in this <laughs> in this alley? Oh Chris. Oh, is this saucer of milk? It's for my kitty Mew Mew. She's a perfect angel. I see no cat. Uh, what does she look like? Well, I've never actually seen her, but ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. So, so I like to think that there's a cat. My cat. This is the saddest thing that's ever <laughs> happened in the <this> series. <laughs> C Chris, even though you never got to set chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So, in return, I can let you borrow, um, m m my homemade DVD collection of The Symptoms. Y you know, the sitcom about the middle class monster family? It's got every episode and all 28 seasons. It's the funniest, most quotable show ever. But make sure you don't watch Pat Oh, I have a lot to say about <laughs> the symptoms. Let's focus on the family and when their vehicles were shaped <laughs> like animals. They were friends with the animal vehicles. And let's not get into symptoms galaxy force. Where are the symptoms covered? In the, what did the gravitational field just... Uh -huh. <laughs> you don't want to watch it? Let's... Okay, Chris. <laughs> it's not okay. Get back here. Run. <laughs> Run. <laughs> okay, we've explored this square. We've gone west. We've gone south. Oh, holy Christ. Okay. Well, you think. Oh, you think it's over, motherfucker? <laughs> oh, hi, Chris. Did you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so uh, I actually got a few things ready for you in case... Uh, wait, sorry, I can't talk right now. I forgot my house key again, and uh, sorry, Chris, I'll help you later if that's okay. Uh, see you at school! Uh, Chris, did you want to talk about something? Sussy. Susie, that's right, you were with Susie! When you didn't come back to class, I was worried, but everything turned out okay, I, I think. Uh, Chris, can I ask you something, if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. So, Chris, could you tell me about her, if that's okay? Eats chalk. <laughs> what? She was eating the chalk? R really? Wait. You're teasing me, aren't you, Chris? No. Well, like, when you told me Icy was real and eats kids. So, Des smacked you with a wiffle bat till you stopped lying. Huh? You're telling the truth? Seriously? Um, then, what color chalk does she like? <laughs> and do you think she likes thin or thick kind? Wait, maybe I'm making our lunchbox full of chalk is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You, Chrissy, like, what's up? Give Aunt Caddy a hug. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> I'm not even actually your aunt. <laughs> oh my god. Can I talk to you about something? Actually, like, anything, though. Your choice. Oh my god, Azrael? Like, what a cutie pie. Do you remember when me and him went to the dance? That was like the best night ever, even though I spilled the entire punch bowl all over him and danced inappropriately in front of your mom and got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. Ah, that was so much fun. Tell him I said hi. Whoa, how's Caddy doing? I have no idea. We like totally can't connect at all. Yesterday, I asked if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no, and then she like told me my playing is an anti-blessing from planet hell. What the heck, Chrissy? Ah, 
<laughs> it's so cute. I love my frickle, fricked up little sis. Like that green girl next door? Oh my god, Chrissy, she's like my life villain. Like, the other day I went to see Cat Petters 2, and like, the only other person in the theater was her! Then I went to QC's and ordered a cappuccino, and she like, was already drinking one?! She's such a copycat! Uh, copy gator? Copy source? Copy what I- I K, she sucks. So the thing here, Chris, is that in Undertale, these two characters are best friends. Oh. Um, Chrissy, like, long time no see. What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Ugh. That chick next door drives me nuts. I keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's a total copycat. Like, why though? Doesn't she realize she'll never be me? Honestly, her whole family is like so trashy. <laughs> Once her sister served me a coffee and I swear it was half kaffir. Like, get a hairnet girl for like your whole body. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that time you wanted to hang out with us, like with us big kids? I was like, yeah, of course, just get us some burgers. Then, like, amazingly, you actually, you actually got them. So I told you to go back and get some french fries, too. <laughs> then a dozen miniature cakes. They were so good. I ate, like, six. Then I, like, suddenly got so sick, I had to go home. And, man. So, like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? <laughs> go away. Aw, that's no way to talk to your almost sister-in-law. Nah, I'm joking, but like... Remember that time I played Truth or Dare with Azzy? I like made him give me his first kiss. Then your mom found out he kissed someone and... Like, I think she basically dialed 911. I swear, your family went to church like... Every single day that week. <laughs> Some kind of scratching noise coming from inside. Why? <laughs> what? Are they trapped in there? Hey, neighbor, baby. When's your brother Doug gonna come by? <laughs> How do you get Doug from Asriel? <laughs> Wait, is... I think it's a reference to that character from Oh, Doug. yeah. It's supposed to be Mr. Dink. That's oh. right. Well, he's got a lisp, but we already did a lisp. We've already <laughs> done about 100 lisps. <laughs> My girls would love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Doug? <laughs> What's wrong, Douglas? <laughs> you don't like frozen cat food? <laughs> and that's funny because both him and the voice you did are based off that guy who voiced it like the, the Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Heavens to Betsy. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now, why don't you prance on home? I think you can get multiple dialogue from him. From Asgore? Uh, from Metaton. Who wants to be Goat oh, Dad? Is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy. How can I. Looks so weird without a crown. Oh, Chris! I'm dying. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you didn't like... I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Well now, make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. I want the seeds. Give me the seeds, Papa. <laughs> Papa, give Chris the seeds. Open the cash register. Like, just open it. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much change inside. Papa, are we poor, Papa? <laughs> Some kind of catalog. There's a car magazine underneath. Say, hey, Chris, I was thinking. Perhaps when Azriel comes home, we could all go to the diner, just like old times. My treat. Doesn't that sound yummy? 
<laughs> oh my god. What, what what does it mean? <laughs> oh shit. What what could it possibly mean? How can I, what does the significance? Some dirty fur stuck stuck in the drain. Small TV. On tops are some superhero comics. So he and Chris's mom, like... Oh, Chris, if you're hungry... Broke up or something? Help yourself to anything you want. They're divorced. Yep. Uh -huh. All that's inside is a single jar of pickles. Are they fuzzy pickles? <laughs> Photo of your mother and father on their wedding day. She's holding a bouquet of seven flowers. Seven. A reindeer-looking monster stands nearby in a tuxedo. Seven. They all look happy. What does it mean? The seven flowers! The door. It's locked. Is that to your pervert dungeon, Dad? Dad! Pervert dungeon! Dad! I'm the king of flowers. Don't speak to me like that. Yes, those flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. 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 Like a... Climation. Like a... Like a chimpanzee? Yeah. A climate? A climate. <laughs> Climate change. Okay, you're just gonna talk about my dumb brother. How about talk about fucking me, huh? I talk about when your brother comes home, we'll go to the diner. Why can't we go to the diner, huh? It all is about fucking Azriel. Ah, is it because he's a goat? Is it because he's a goat and I'm not? <laughs> what the fuck, Dad? Fuck you. This is why Mom left you. Oh, Chris, before you go. Big ol' hug. Here. No. For your mother. Our secret. Throw it on the ground! Throw it away! Right in front of him! Have a great day, Chris. My dad's truck. It's your dad's truck. It's my dad's truck. Let's see if the keys are in the ignition. Countries? My dad? Oh, okay. You abandoned the bouquet. Uh, what would have been funnier if we did in front of him? I didn't know my dad liked country music. <laughs> Nothing better than hanging at the lake with my best bro. Watching the waves go by. True. Bro TP. Where the fuck is this? It's... You have to wait for a minute there. I thought I was gonna get to do a fishing mini game. <laughs> That'd be nice. I was gonna be Plessy. <laughs> hey, there. N noticed you were here. It's me. You know me, right? Of course you do. I'm real popular. I just don't have any friends. But it's okay here, cause you're here. You're here. Will you be my friend? If you say no, you won't get to talk to him again. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm so happy here. I'm so happy I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't remember being this happy before. <laughs> What's your name, friend? I think this is a Mega Man Legends joke <laughs> because you can tell the junk shop owners in that game your real name or hippopotamus. Mm. So that guy who made those videos was fucking wrong and I'm smarter. <laughs> 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 hip, 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 um, hippopotamus? That's your big name, but it's worth it! Oh, excuse me, I forgot to introduce myself. Actually, since no one talks to me, I forgot my own name. Hippopotamus, can you give me a name? Hippopotamus. Can I? I wanted to also name him Hippopotamus. <laughs> Disgusting. That's me. Ezreal too. I want to name him Onion. Mm, it's perfect, you hear? I don't know what it means, but it's perfect! Mm, it feels like it was shaped like me! It feels like it smells like me! Wait, Wait, son. wait what's his name? Um, Omyom? Um yeah, that's perfect. Omyom, um that's my name. Thank you for giving me a name. I'll cherish it, you hear? <laughs> um, hip for potato mask. That's your name, right? <laughs> I want to tell you That's something, my favorite Sailor Moon character. Something <laughs> tomorrow. Something I can only tell a friend. Come back soon here. 
<laughs> well, that was weird. It was incredible. <gasps> Sorry, I keep hiccuping. Okay. Uh, I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now, why don't you prance on home? I'm telling you, they're not home right now. Ah, uh, you just wanted to talk to me? My apologies, beautiful. I'm afraid I'm a bit of a nobody. I'm telling you, they're not home that's right it. now. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay. So a big part of this part, Chris, is like all the differences between this and Undertale. So like uh, that was yeah. supposed to be Metaton. Right. You know, it was very flamboyant and famous. Right. It's my mom's fan. But another part of Undertale is that it implies Metaton used to be a ghost who then Alphys like somehow scientifically put him in a robot body. Mm. But so people are um, yeah, thinking in this in this universe. Yeah, exactly. Got it. But also the people are thinking in this universe or whatever this is, he uh, Alphys wasn't able because she's not a scientist to put him in a robot body, so he's still a ghost. Oh, interesting. Welcome home, honey. Hi! Did you have fun with your friend today? I did not see her after she left. By the way, I just finished baking a pie. Gross. If you go to bed, it'll be cool when you wake. But do not eat it all do not eat it all this time, alright? It's a book of hymns. Uh, so if we hadn't thrown away the flowers, we could give it to her. Mm -hmm. And she would ask if it's from you. Mm -hmm. And if you say yes, she'll be happy. And if you say it's from your dad, she'll throw it in the trash. Mm, that <laughs> makes sense. Chris, what is it, honey? Remember that video game you and Azriel used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing when he was very little, he loved the green lizard from that. Oh, Ridley? King K. Rool. King K. Rool. We even had a birthday party for him themed around it. King K. Rool theme? Your father painted all those eggs with spots as decoration. Wait. King K. Rool's eggs? Did she just say Asgore when he was little? Asriel. No, Asriel. Asriel. Your brother. Your brother, okay. He was in college. Right. And who was Ralse? Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked the... And until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Oh, Yoshi. Yeah. White eggs with green spots. Yep. Yeah. The green lizard. <laughs> your brother just kept crying. Ever since, he's hated that book about eat eating green eggs. What? Well, I'm fucking talking about waiting. <laughs> what is it, honey? Pie. <laughs> Chris, since only you and I are living here right now, it feels just a bit lonely, does it not? But fortunately, sharing a warm freshly made pie is the perfect cure for such a condition as long as I get to eat some of course tell her that you found a new friend in the lake and Me. they're coming to live with you <laughs> Chris honey you've grown up so much someday soon you'll be off going off to university as well nah dude me and Susie are gonna be criminals <laughs> remember when you were little no you asked when your horns were going to grow in so we bought that headband with the little red horns on it Oh, you wore it for months. Whatever happened to it? Uh. Donating a pleasant floral scent. Uh, she's an expert homemaker, I guess. Uh, it's because she keeps throwing away flowers that Asriel uh. keeps sending her. <laughs> pie. It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Ooh, I don't know about still that. cooking. I don't like butterscotch. There's a photo on the fridge. It's you, your mom, and your brother. Asriel's torn out of the... Um, Asriel's torn out? I mean, <laughs> Asgore. <What? laughs> you did it. Chris, is everything all right in there? I think if you keep doing it, she does something too, but or says something else. But it's up to you. <laughs> Hello, Dreamer residents. Who might this be? Chris. <sighs> Do not make me come over there.
Flushing that toilet. <laughs> Chris, what are you doing? You did not put a bath bomb in the toilet again, did you? <laughs> uh. Hello? You have reached the hotline for idiot babies. No. Please press 1 for idiots, 2 for babies, 3 for idiot babies, and 4 for none. Ah, you're an idiot baby. To tell you the truth, I'm one too. Let's try our best, okay? If you do that and then talk to Sans again, he'll say something like, Sorry, I don't talk to idiot babies. <laughs> there are many books. Oh, wait, we went through this. We're not going to find any more new content in this house. Look at that mirror again. It's only you. It's only me. No one else. Just you. Just me. Well... Anything else we should do? I don't think so. I think that was everything. Okay. Well, I like how this music has some of the Undertale music in it. Yeah. You went to bed. And then you went to bed. <laughs> Restless sleeper. Sleepwalking? This is uh -oh. this is creepy. No, my soul. Hey, come on, man. Not cool, man. Don't be like that. Uh oh. Oh no. Chara is back. That doesn't seem good. Let's, let's see. What's he doing? What is he going to do with that thing? What knife? does it mean? What's he going to do with that Guess knife? Guess we'll find out when Toby finishes the game. Guess we'll find out in or, 20. Or releases another chapter. I don't know if he's planning on like doing them incrementally or just the whole thing. Well, that's Deltrune. But that's Deltrune. Yay. Yay. We did it. I love it. I'm so excited for the rest to come out. Especially since he like teases that the next day you can meet like Papyrus and Onion's gonna tell you something and all, and You're Susie wants to, to go, go back. back. Yeah, Susie wants to go back to the dark world. Mm. So either that'll happen or they'll find out they can't go back and something will happen. Yeah. Or they'll go to a different world maybe, I don't know. But I'm excited to find out. I don't know, all I know is that Azriel's the bad guy again. <laughs> Yeah, it's possible. We continued in chapter two. Are there any Chivos? <laughs> what did you think, Chris? Well, uh, it was really cool. I liked the writing in mm -hmm. general. Um, it was a nice... I don't know. I feel like the characterization of Susie was really good. Mm -hmm, and yeah. I feel like it was really her story, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't feel like it was the player's story, really. Yeah, um, in both, like, Undertale and this one, the character who you play as is, like, quite literally just, like, a blank yeah. slate. And it's done on purpose, because a lot of Undertale... Uh, oh, it's Wind Waker. <laughs> um, a lot of, like, sort of the meta parts of the story in Undertale is how the, like, it's Frisk, no, it's Chara, no, it's you, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I wonder how that's going to play in, because it looks like it will again with, like, the ending and everything. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ralsei. He's a bad guy. He's coming. Um, I guess I would hope that given more time to develop the plot and the themes, mm-hmm. that the ending would feel a little bit more less... I don't know. I was hoping for something inventive to happen with the big bad, but um, I don't know. It was, it was pretty standard. Yeah. Big bad pretends to be nice and then becomes big bad again. Then, oh, the guy he befriended comes back and, and stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, that, uh, I get that. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, since... I guess one thing you have to consider, and I'm sure you do, is uh-huh. that it's just the first chapter. Yeah, so. that's, that's what I was yeah. talking about, yeah. So... I think there's a lot of ground laid there, and I think there's a lot of room to elaborate on uh, things. Mm-hmm. I mean, and it's yeah, hard I'm to excited com- to see where it goes. And it's hard to complain anyway. I feel like because the art is really good, and the characters are cute, and I don't know. I haven't played the combat, so I don't know what the combat's like. But people seem it's to like fun. the combat. Mm-hmm. So, right. um, yeah. uh, I guess. Especially for people who have played a lot of RPGs or JRPGs, you know, I feel like this is really like a meta commentary about RPGs in general. Yeah, but like, I hope not. Mm -hmm. Because we already did that. Yeah, that's what Undertale basically was. So, yeah, yeah. It's one of the things is like that we'll sort of find out as we go is is this going to be just undertale again or is it going to be about something new yeah yeah if it's just undertale again i'm going to be pretty bummed out honestly Mm -hmm. i mean i mean if it is i'll still enjoy it just because toby's writing is so good but i will be a little like oh it could have been you know more i mean like it'll be good but it's like at that point if it's just like if all if all the game is saying is like hey jrpgs am i right (laughs) i'm gonna be kind of like yeah well Mm -hmm. what like last time yeah. What more do you think there there would? What more could you say thematically? Do you think with this type of setting and characters and gameplay and stuff? Do you have any, so, any ideas? One thing I was thinking of as I was playing through it, it's very like trying to thematically like push the like concept of choices mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because yeah. the arc words are like you have a choice and you don't have a choice mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so i'm wondering how that's going to play into it and if it's going to be more about like if, if indeed it is like a game about like with some sort of meta commentary if it's going to be more about like how you make choices in games mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like one thing in undertale is that you are presented sort of a choice insofar to whether or not you can be violent or be passive. Mm -hmm. But like uh, a lot of people just do everything. Mm -hmm. Like they make all the choices and to experience all the content. And if if you do that, I I will- It's not a choice. Yeah, there's no choice there. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe this will be a commentary on that. Like, it's kind yeah. of double meta. <laughs> a weird like yeah. second layer yeah. of like Undertale. Is you a thought commentary. you thought it was about um, you know these different choices and different routes you could do, but really it's just one route. Yeah, which is the whole thing. And that's you know what's funny is that reminds me thematically of getting over it with Bennett Foddy. You know how the end. I don't know. Beating. What that is. Okay. So it's, you've been in big pot and you have a pickaxe and go up a mountain. Huh. Um, it's this game that's supposed to be really difficult and it's supposed to thematically be about the experience of doing something difficult and eventually succeeding at it even though you've been knocked down back to the beginning a million times. It's, mm-hmm. it's supposed to be designed to be incredibly frustrating. Mm-hmm. And the reward you get for beating it is you get to enter a chat room that's just full of people who have beat it. Mm. Um, and that was supposed to be a big secret when it first came out, but, you know, it, it came out, you know, and um, I'm breaking the secret as well. But, like, it's one of those things where the designer, like, really tries to make something have meaning in that sense, you know? Like, it's a secret. Keep it a secret. It doesn't be a secret. With with Undertale, it's like, you have a choice, but everyone's like, okay, I'll just play as many times as I can, you know, and then... 
Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so it's like uh, this kind of battle between wanting games to be like really meaningful but limited, because really what makes something meaningful is limitation, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, like with getting over it with Fadi, limiting the access of the room or even knowledge of the room to people who have beaten it adds value to the process of beating it. Um, but if it's not a secret anymore, that takes away that value. With with Undertale, you know... If you make all the choices, you never make a choice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and that's, I don't know, that's a kind of an exciting struggle, I guess, between designers and players. Like, mm-hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, and like another thing about Undertale is like, you sit, you th- the idea of, oh, you just pick one route, it's like, Toby's very clearly wants you to do all three. Oh, okay. Like, okay. When you do the first run, Flowey shows up at the end and is like, hey, maybe you should try again and do it differently, and maybe you'll get another end, a different oh, type of oh, ending. Okay. Like, Flowey tells you specifically yeah. where to go to get, like, the... Yeah. If you were eligible for the pacifist ending, yeah. that mm-hmm. is to say, he mm-hmm. tells you how to get it specifically. Yeah, and then when you... I think when you get the pacifist, doesn't he? Al- someone also show up and be like, it would be a shame if you went back and... Ru- everyone's so happy. It'd be a shame if you went back and ru- if you mm-hmm. you know redid the game and ruined everyone's happy ending. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, I mean, that's more open to interpretation. Than right. Flowey like literally tells you what to do next. Right. After you beat Passive Ascending, like yeah, Fly pops up and says, "Hey, really seriously, don't play the game again." Mm-hmm. Um, because if you reset the game, you ruin like sort of the good conclusion you've come to. Yep. So I don't know, like, that's definitely not, like, I, I don't know if I 100% agree with you mm. on that Toby intends for you to do all three routes, mm. right? Because genocide route is well, I mean, obscure yeah. to figure out, like, you... Maybe it's not so much that he intends you to do the three routes, but he, like, very obvi- he made the genocide route to be done, you know? Like, the fact that he created it at all means that... He didn't, you know, want no one to do it, you know? Are you sure? Can you prove that? Well, I think there's a difference between wanting some people to end up doing it because they're... I guess, okay, maybe... They're wanting everybody to complete all three. Like, you haven't... Maybe it's not so much he wanted people to do it, but, like, he gives you that option. That's an interesting question, though. Just because the option is there doesn't mean it's meant to be done. Yeah. And that's, that's an interesting thing yeah. about video games, too, is because when people say, I've done a video game, the ultimate way to have done a video game is consume all the content. Anything less than consuming all the content is, you is, still is incomplete. You can still do more. Yeah, you can mm-hmm. always do more. And because the, the, game, the world of the game is limited, that's how you complete, you know, mm-hmm. um, a game. Uh, I'm sure there are loads of people who were content just to play one playthrough mm-hmm. of Undertale. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's lots of people who, like, just played through the, like, pacifist route, mm-hmm. I think. And yeah. then, like, I, I'm sure, like, a lot of those people, maybe, you know, probably one on the internet looked yeah. up the genocide route and which then it didn't do ma- it. Yeah, it, which the genocide route even makes a joke about that. Yeah. But if, if let's say, hypothetically... Mm-hmm. The internet doesn't exist, and you have to buy, like, a cartridge of Undertale. Yeah. And you play it, and maybe you even get, like, you figure out how to get the pacifist route, because the game, like, points you that way. Mm -hmm. The game never says, hey, if you kill everybody in a zone, in every zone, then you're going to get a different ending. Right. Like, it's only until you get to Snowden and you start killing people after you've killed everybody in the ruins that it starts keeping track of your kills. Mm -hmm. And then there's also like certain obscure things that you have to make sure you do too. Like there's like part of the Metaton fight you have to do like you can't hesitate or else the route is now ruined. Yeah. So I feel like it's intentionally one made very difficult to do the genocide route. Mm -hmm. So I almost feel like it does. It almost feels more like an Easter egg, mm. really, than any sort of like intended way of playing. And the, yeah, mm. 
That's funny too. I see what you mean. Yeah. That's funny too because the Easter egg is like the original thematic. It's the original meta element in a video game, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. An Easter egg is something that that can be found, but is not intended necessarily to be part of the experience. Yeah. Um, I'm getting all English classy on this. <laughs> uh, do you think? Do you think the way uh, the main character in both games is silent and kind of an- like antisocial? Do you think that's making a commentary on like the type of person that video game protagonists end up being through their actions and their behaviors, and how that's different from real life? You know, because there's stuff that you just do. Like one of the points of video games is that. You just you, do whatever the quest. You just do whatever wants yeah. you to do. Yeah, or you can do like whatever you want, and mm-hmm. I think that's also part of you know like saving the life mechanic and blending the determination mechanic and blending like blurring the lines between uh, the in-game world and the the meta-game world. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's just trying to make you consider some of those things, I guess, to try to break those boundaries and and see what else can be done about them. Maybe. I think in a sense, maybe. Yeah. I don't know if I feel that way about Undertale, per se. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But so an interesting thing is that like in the dark world, which is like sort of this high fantasy like world with like knights and quests and legends and prophecies. Yeah, yeah. Like it feels like the main character Chris is a lot more well received (laughs) and Mm -hmm. like that's true. Is a leader and is like competent and is in his element, but it's like out in the real world where life is like not a video game setting. Mm-hmm. Let ooh, you know besides all the monsters, mm-hmm. um, that like everyone thinks he's like kind of a creepy weirdo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So maybe that has some credence to it. Yeah. yeah, could be. I've also seen like people interpreting it as because of the thing at the beginning about like you have no choice and everything. Mm-hmm. That when you're in the dark world. Chris is under, like, quite literally under the player's control, mm-hmm. and that's why the save file, beca- instead of being Chris's, is now whatever name you put in as yours. Yeah. And that's why, like, that's why he's acting differently than he does in his world, because when you go back and talk to all the people, mm-hmm. a lot of people talk about how Chris was kind of, like, um, a troublemaker, mm-hmm. like how he hid under Noel's bed. Yeah, and, yeah was like teasing other people and mm-hmm. yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah, bombs on the toilet. Yeah, he was like sort of a little shit. Yeah, yeah, um, that's true. Whereas when you're in the dark world, you know, it's not like you really see his personality, but you, you know, do what you do, what you do is sort of like all this heroic stuff. Right. And some people are like, well, that's not Chris, that's you controlling him. Uh-huh. And that's why at the end he like takes out the soul, because the uh-huh. soul maybe is you. Uh-huh. But we'll. Oh, that makes sense. About that. Yeah, you've lost control of the character, and so the character removes the soul. Yeah. That and then you there's the whole thing him. with like, yeah. is he Chara or Frisk uh, or? I don't see. I don't how know. How is this? How is this related yeah. to Undertale? If at all. If at all. I mean, so. the thing that I kept thinking of was he just likes these goofy characters, you know. Mm-hmm. He wants to play. He wants to play around with them more. Yeah. I but, feel like that's something that a lot of writers say is like, I love these characters. And I want to spend more time with them. You know. In like a completely different universe, though. Uh. Um. Wow. Owned. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I think sometimes writers can become enamored with certain archetypes. You know? Yeah. And sometimes just so as like... a shorthand, you know, we'll be like, okay, this is basically the exact same character, but I mean you find that in different genres, like mm-hmm. like Han Solo and Indiana Jones are kinda of similar. What? I well the same yeah. guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean but it happens then, a lot in film because yeah. the same actor is playing the character. Yeah, but I get what you're saying, but I feel like it's not quite what's happening here because mm-hmm. It's not just similar characters, they're like literally 
the same character in some sort of diff, but like in a different world or something. Or, so, uh, so you're asking because you they there's... like have they look they're the same character design. They have the same names. Yeah, but do, you're saying do you think there's intention behind the differences that the changes that have been made mean something? Yeah, I think. Well, I think mm-hmm. they definitely mean something. I just mm-hmm. we don't know at this point what they do. What? Yeah, if it's like a parallel universe or if right. it's like a sequel and some weird shit happens so that they like are in another world. I don't. Know. I don't think it's a sequel. Yeah, I I don't think it is either. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think this takes place in the same. Yeah. Quote unquote timeline. Yeah. I feel like ultimately, you know, the characters don't seem to have any knowledge about the other versions of themselves. Yeah, that's made very clear. And I don't think they ever really will. I think the only, like, sort of way that... I think that the connection between Undertale will be addressed, but, like, only in sort of, like, a very meta way, because the Mm -hmm. only character who clearly does have a knowledge of the other characters, like, or the other forms of the characters is... You know the you the player mm-hmm. when your player is like inserted as a character in the game. Yeah, because like when you can talk to Sans, you can talk to Sans like you've met him before. Mm-hmm. Like Chris hasn't necessarily met Sans before, but the character in the game that is the player right. has met Sans before. Mm. So I think that might be a thing that gets looked at. Yeah, same. Do you, does do you think Toby Fox is the kind of creator that will want to have an elaborate? in canon meth like magical or whatever explanation for what happened i feel like like a comic book you know yeah um i mean it's kind of hard to tell because undertale is basically his only game that's true but i feel like he would he'll leave it pretty ambiguous Mm -hmm. yeah I don't think he's gonna like straight up be like, oh yeah, this is a alternate dimension and blah blah blah, you know. Yeah. I think he'll leave it somewhat up to interpretation. Do you? Uh, so what? So tell me more about what you're excited about for the next, for the rest of this game. Um, I'm excited to get more development for like Susie, mm-hmm. and I hope they go back to the dark world. Mm-hmm. So that we can get more Susie Lancer friendship, because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's like one of the best things mm-hmm, so far. Mm-hmm, yeah. Um, I'm hoping that other characters will get some more screen time. Like, uh, I'm hoping we see Papyrus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, and maybe some of the guys from Undertale. Mm-hmm. Um, well, certainly, uh, there's. It seems like there's a lot more characters in the normal world than there are in the dark world. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, in the Dark World so far, it was mainly just, like, guys you fight. Yeah, just, like... There weren't a whole lot anime, that were, like, yeah. unique characters, I guess. Yeah. So far. And that's kind of... That's pretty different from Undertale, right? Um... Undertale had a lot of unique characters. Yeah. Compared to the Dark World, but, like... Mm-hmm. Shorter game. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I... I, like... It's hard to know what would be good, mm-hmm. I think, for what the way this follows up. Mm-hmm. You know, the thing with like this game is that there's kind of a big expectation for it to have, be like some kind of meta commentary. Thanks. You know, yep. have some sort of meta elements to it. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if I would be disappointed if it doesn't deliver on that. Like, I, I wonder if when you come back in chapter two, if it's just like gonna put you through the Undertale ringer of like, here's a bunch of characters, love them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If the game isn't gonna end up like saying a whole lot more than Undertale does. Mm-hmm. Like, I almost half expect Toby to have set up all these promises of like Papyrus and Onion San and all this stuff just not to deliver. Like as part of like some sort of like they don't like actually larger theme. Yeah, they don't. Oh, actually show okay. Up. Like a yeah. kind of a fuck you to the fans or something. Not like a fuck you to the fans, like, but like I mean subverting your expectations. Subverting your expectations. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, like, I'm not saying I wouldn't enjoy it if Toby just was like, ah, fuck it, just do Undertale again. Yeah, mm-hmm. like Undertale's a good game, and I would play more of it. Right, but. 
I think it would be a more interesting game if Toby was if, if if Toby Fox like made it a little more if Toby Fox like played with our expectations a yeah. little yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Agree. Totally. Yeah, I like I do hope that we see more of like the Undertale cast just because I love them all so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But I do also hope that it's not just Undertale continued with nothing really new. Yeah. Like, it's just like tough because Undertale managed to say like a lot about RPGs and about games and about the way they're played. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like about the way people enjoy them in like a really short and sweet game. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of like, you know, it, it was a really big deal, and that's like why it's so good. And yeah. if like this, it it's so hard because it's like if this, it's like it's almost an unfair expectation to be like, well, oh, yeah. now this game has to be oh, yeah, totally. also <laughs> yeah. equally as deep and as completative. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I have, I really did not expect him to continue Undertale. I thought he'd just make something completely new. Yeah, because I was like, how are you gonna? Yeah, you know, yeah, like... it doesn't seem. Like, it wrapped up so well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, like, so far, it's really good, so my, I'm optimistic. Well, it's really yeah. good, but, like, it's it's only good because it's like Undertale. Mm -hmm. It hasn't, like, struck out on its own, really, in any way. Yeah. Except I would argue... I mean, I haven't played Undertale, but except for the character arc of Susie, I feel like Susie and Lancer... Like, there's Yeah, not, it's, there's not, it's not Papyrus and Undyne yeah. at all. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Oh, were you being facetious? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I haven't played the game, so I'll I'll defer to your knowledge. They do have a similar dynamic. Uh huh. Undyne likes punchy things. Yeah, Undyne's like Undyne's a tough like, badass yeah. likes to fight. Uh huh. You know, and Papyrus, Papyrus is a is a ding dong goofball <laughs> who loves puzzles. Right. Right. Yeah. Um. The characters are so lovable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, he Great. writes a good character, for sure. And I'm not, like, trying to slam him that, like, he didn't necessarily write Undyne and Papyrus yeah. again. They're not, like, strictly equal. They, like, definitely have important differences. I mean, the main important difference is that, like, Undyne is accepted by this monster society and Susie is rejected by it. Right. Mm -hmm. And Susie and Lancer, like, bond over being outcasts mm -hmm. and becoming each other's first friends and stuff. Whereas like Papyrus and Undyne, like Papyrus is that was also- more of a senpai. Like, yeah, Papyrus is also up. an outcast. Like people yeah. think he's a weirdo, but like- Not quite to the same extent. Yeah. <laughs> and also like Undyne and Papyrus, you don't actually see them interact a whole lot in Undertale besides like when you do the-, the Yeah, co most of their thing. like interactions are just through like Talking about each other, talking yeah. about spending time with each other. Whereas with Susie and Lancer, you actually see them interacting. You which can kind of nice. Although I refute that a little bit because whenever mm. you fucking call them, which you can call them in every fucking room oh, in yeah. that game, <laughs> like they do interact just yeah. over the phone. That's true. <laughs> so uh, I I don't know. It's it's like very similar. When I first started playing it, I was almost like creeped out by it. Not creeped out, mm. but like struck by how similar it was. Like it almost felt like it was on purpose how mm. similar these two characters yeah. were. Mm. Like Toby was gonna like like I felt like I was about to get Metal Gear Solid too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, that is yeah. That's a good analogy. Mm -hmm. Um. Maybe that maybe that shoe has yet to drop. That's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. It's like whatever... There's something happening. Whatever Maybe. he's going for here, it's like not clear. Maybe yeah. this demo is just the bamboozle. The beginning yeah. of the bamboozle. Maybe he'll release the real game and this chapter won't even be in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. he'll release the real game and it'll be Frog Fractions 3. <laughs> <laughs> Only time will tell. Until I hope, then. I hope it's not too long of a wait. But we'll I hope see. that it only, it comes out right before I die. It's so long. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, I remember when I talked about this on the strand. <laughs> and in my old age, I become British. Mm. You, you became what? What, what I, you hate? What I despise most. <laughs> you either die, that happens you all either die a hero or live long enough to become the villain. You either die a hero or live long enough to become a British. Yep. 
become a British. <laughs> well, if you ever become a British, you promise to euthanize me. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. If you're watching this on YouTube, give us Subs a subscribe. Subscribe. Give us a like. Give us a share. Do you all those things. Check out other stuff. Engage with our content. Give us a comment. Comment about what you think the chapter that is next will be like. Please don't be mean to us. Will Ralsei, <laughs> is Ralsei the kind of boy who would text a dick pic? <laughs> And we'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Bye.